So this going through this experience has fueled me to progressively go out here, be more independent, uh, be more diligent, and and just be just be willing to sacrifice it all. You know, because you never know. Life is life can change like that, as we all have witnessed over the past what year and a half or close to a year and a half. So you have to be prepared, man, no matter what, financially, mentally, spiritually, all of the above. There are no, absolutely zero room for error. So with that said, my good black man, the moral of the story is to continue to grind no matter what the situation is, because you never know, you know? Hey everybody, it's William Carter here with inquisitivecarter.com. just dropped your latest single vibe what has quarantine creativity been like for you quarantine creativity has been pretty creative you know uh those neurons are obviously not misfiring because i'm still creatively coming up with songs <laughs> you know so it's been actually a good a good thing i mean i know it's been a bad thing as well in terms of the uh uh, the amount of casualties, you know, deaths and things of that nature. But in the sense of being creative in the music side of things, it just, it's just, it just allows me to kind of like, you know, uh, reflect and, 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 and uh, think a lot more. Um, and as a result of doing that, you know, I came up with a vibe. Just over a year ago, you released your debut EP. You was touring with El Varner. And then the world goes to chaos. So yeah, man. How was that like? How have you been able to keep that alive, keep that momentum going? You know, especially for it to be like your debut, your debut project. I mean, you know, just 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 knowing that I that I have to, I have no choice but to stay true to my music. You know, uh, just because the world slows down doesn't mean your craft has to. You know, and, and that's the main thing. You know, you can't allow. <clears throat> whatever circumstances you're under, <clears throat> excuse me, to dictate the outcome of, of, of the ending result or what, what you would consider the ending result of myself, you know, um, which is to, to achieve some form of success. So, you know, with that said, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's been a gift and a curse, again, because as I mentioned before, it, it's like it allows you to reflect, you know, to do some reflective thinking and, you know, take it all in and just it, it should fuel you, you know? So this going through this experience has fueled me to progressively go out here, be more independent, uh, be more diligent and, and just, be, just be willing to sacrifice it all. You know, cause you never know, life is, life can change like that as we all have witnessed over the past, what year and a half or close to a year and a half. So you have to be prepared, man, no matter what, financially, mentally, spiritually, all of the above, there are no, absolutely zero room for error. So with that said, my good black man, the moral of the story is to continue to grind no matter what the situation is, because you never know, you know? That's a word. It's a good word, it's a word. So what was it like for you touring with El Varner? El is, well, you know, I, I crush over her, I'm gonna be honest. She's such a sweet soul, man. She's like the type of woman I would date. But she's a really good friend. She's a sweetheart. Uh, did I say incredibly gorgeous? I think I did say that, but I'm gonna say it again. Who's who cares? Let's just be honest with ourselves. She's beautiful, and she's she's extremely talented, man. You know, and she's a hard worker, man. I love seeing hardworking, independent women, black women, that you know, and all women, but you know something about a strong black independent woman you know um she's she's that and and she's just a great spirit so that experience with her was awesome every show was pretty much like really good um and hopefully we do it again you know i talk to her almost every other day so we've actually built a, clo a close friendship uh, out of that situation going from that going from that positive message about beautiful strong independent black women right 
most of your songs tend to have like a message of love and some, you know, some form, some capacity. So what inspires you or what has inspired you to make some of your music? Other people's experiences. The music is personal to me, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm writing it or singing it, but it's, it doesn't pertain to my personal life. So on this new EP that I'm working on, everything that I sing about will pertain to who I am as a person or what I've experienced. The, the music that I sing about right now, it, it's, 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 I'm sure it may be relatable to some people, but it, my music, what inspires me mostly is just, just other people's experiences, you know? Um, but like I stated, like my new EP, it will be more personal, you know, my own experiences which I'm sure people will relate to the things I've been through as well. So I just want y'all to, 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 to rock with your boy, man, you know, and listen to my music and support it because it's, it's something good. You know, I'm not going to say I'm great, but I, I, I'm at, I'm in a great place and I hope to uh, gain some support off of, off of everything I do. So you pursue music while also continuing your education. What was that like? Education is something I so strongly believe in. Music is something I strongly believe in. So, you know, it, I, in terms of balancing the two, it was quite simple. You know, knowing that I'm passionate about both of them, you know, there was no way I would, you know, uh, lack uh, uh, in any or, or on any side of, you know, out of school or music because I felt like this is a calling. You know, education has always been a calling in terms of like me knowing that I would not only pursue it, but complete it, you know. So that's always been my passion. Like uh, I wanted to always not only go to school, but I wanted to earn a degree, you know, high school diploma. And then from that, I can say, you know, I did that. Like with music, you know, something that I feel so passionate about to the point where it's like, I have to win a Grammy one day. Like that will be that defining moment. Like this is, I'm working hard so that it can lead up to, you want a Grammy, you want this. And it's just like, okay, I achieved something that I sought out to do for so long. And it's obviously paid off. So, you know, it's just, it's just fulfilling, man, knowing that you, you completed something, you know, something that a lot of people wish and hope, but it never came true, you know? So I'm just hoping to, you know, to make it to that, to that, to that uh, page of my life. From sunrise, sunset to now, to vibe, what has that journey been like for you? You know, what has been like some defining moments along your ride? Uh, it's been cool, you know, um, going from Sunrise, Sunset up into Vibe, uh, I've noticed the progression, you know, but it's, it's, it's something, like R&B is something that I, I, I've loved all my life. And knowing that I'm actually singing about the things that I believe in, it's even more fulfilling. You know, um, Sunrise, Sunset was, all my music focuses on love, you know, like I had to start throwing that heartbreak in there, which is love too. But, you know, it's always like the positive side of love. I have to focus on the negative side of love, which is my new EP will capture all of that. You know, heartbreak, you know, happy times, whatever times. It'll be a combination of so many different experiences fused into one that people will say, wow, did he really just talk about that? Because that's something that goes on or something that I've dealt with or whatever, you know, like it's, it's leading up to something special. So on this next EP, you'll notice the progression from sunrise, sunset to where I'm at now. Um, it'll just, it's going to be something different. I'm telling you, trust me, man. It's going to be one hell of a, hell of an EP, man. And, um, you know, I just hope people gravitate towards it, you know? So what kind of made you want to switch it up a little bit with this upcoming project? Well, because it's a side, I feel like there's a side that people don't know, you know, people and people listen to my current music and they say, oh, he's like an old school singer. And I'm like, no, I'm not an old school singer. I just really love old school music. But I'm really like, a sh I'm not, I don't want to use this term street because I'm from the street. Um, I'm an educated street guy. Not like a drug dealer. We don't want any confusion, people. I'm an alpha man. You know, I come from a certain environment, not a product of my environment. But I want people to know, like I want, I want my music to be so relatable to the point where people say, wow, I came from that situation too. I don't want to sing about something that no one else can relate to, you know? So vibe is a groove, you know? 
vibe is something I, I feel like a lot of my fans will really appreciate because they listen to that style of music. But then there's another side of me that people just don't know exists because I haven't sung, I haven't sang about, sung about it. You know, like my older music, people say, what happened to that style? I said, well, you know, I tried something new, you know, from Sunrise Sunset to Give It To You to Moon up until Vibe Now. I'm just trying something new. I'm just trying to see what jails. But people will soon see like, okay, this is his style. Like this is where he wants to be. I can see where he's going with this. That was for that time. And this this current music is for this time. So everything right now is still, it's still, it's in motion. You know, it's leading up to something great. And I just want y'all to hold on, man. And bear with me, man. Get ready for it. Cause I'm telling you, it's coming. It's gonna be something different too, man. Something familiar, but different considering that I've never done it before uh, within the past two years. So just, just look out for it. Final question. What is it that you want people to know about you? Who are you? Who is Jay Brown, essentially? I'm a good dude. I'm a hardworking dude. I'm a father. I'm a guy who believes in himself, believes in himself, a guy who believes in his craft. And I believe in people believing in me as long as it makes sense, you know? As long as people see that, wow, this is a real dude. This is somebody that I can not only relate to, but somebody I see who's willing to put in that work to make his dreams come true. So I'm just that kind of person, someone who's just, no matter if it seems like an endless amount of miles before I reach my goal, I'm gonna keep going no matter what. I don't care what it is. So I'm just a person who just believes in himself and a person who, who, who really wants to make it to a certain level to not only show other people that I did it, but to most importantly prove it to myself, you know? You know, I know I can do it. I'm just the type of person who's going to continue to strive for excellence because I know at the end of the tunnel, it's going to be something special. Oh,